Democracy is very tough to manage, but it's the best form of government. We must promote unity, stability, and economic justice for everyone. The question of security is paramount in my mind because women are the high victim of insecurity. Our diversity is an asset if we know how to use it. President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu and the Chicago State University certification controversy has dominated both local and international discourse, which has thrown up diverse permutations, assumptions, multi-dimensional facts, and misrepresentations. But does the opposition party really have a watertight case to unseat the president at the Supreme Court, or it's just chasing shadows. Let's find out on the Presidency in Focus TV show on TV Nigeria after this timeout. Welcome. Okay, you're welcome back. The President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu Chicago State University certification, of course, is a make or mar battle between the presidential flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party in the last held uh, presidential election, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar. To so many people, this is uh, a battle that of course will terminate at the Supreme Court. But before we get to the Supreme Court, there's been so much views, perspectives, uh, and positions on this matter. And of course, uh, for quite a number of people, everybody is anticipating to hear, to know what will be the outcome of this uh, controversy at the Supreme Court. But the big question is, does Atiku really have a strong case against the president? Welcome to the Presidency in Focus on TV Nigeria, where we are going to be taking a look at this issue from the perspective of the presidency. And of course, we've got here today a political governance consultant a public affairs analyst, a religious leader, a security expert, and simply a nationalist. Let's welcome Reverend Dr. Joseph Eidero. You're welcome, sir. God bless you, sir. To the Presidency in Focus on TV Nigeria. The controversy has been spreading like wildfire, but let me quote the legal representative of the president. I'm talking about President Bolak Metunubu's personal lawyer, Babatunde Ogala, son. And he says that whatever document Atiku gets from the Chicago State University is no longer useful. So, uh, Reverend Dr. Yidero, first, how do you see this development really? I respect our former Vice President Lord. He's a man of dignity, a man of honor, a man of respect, a man that we all love. But the way he's taking this matter may make him to lose those that love him. As that moment, we are agitating for peace in this country. We want peace. Nigeria should be governed under peace environment. Without peace, we can't move forward. You see, I think we have every right to appeal. He has every right to go to any court. That is, that is legal right. 
But one thing is this. You can't use illegality to fight legality. It's not possible. You see, uh, we have various cases, like the case in Bayasa State, like the case out of uh, those states, whereby governors who won election were disqualified because of a uh, certificate for jury or whatever, because of name or whatever. Now, you can't compare that with what happened to Tinubu. There can never be forgery if there is no complainant. A case of forgery must be established. What are the evidences? The evidences are very clear. One, the school must deny the candidate that this fellow, we don't even know him. He's not even our student at all. He has never one day attended any class, any lesson in this school. We don't know him. He has no record in our school. One. Two, then the school must deny also, or either deny or admit that, hey, Bola Ahmed Tunubu was never our student. He has never even attended our school. The certificate with him, we are not aware of it. Oh, it's right. not a void. Then you have article, then we have a case. But the school have admitted Bola Ahmed Tunubu is their former student. Bola Ahmed Tunubu sat for exam. Bola Ahmed Tunubu was issued a certificate. Fought, they went further and said, Bola Ahmed Tunubu is not a female name. The man is a male, not female. So where did they get the female uh, angle from? You see, when you are looking for action or point in, ev in, in evidence, you must look for evidence to win your case. That is the duty of the lawyers. How they go about to get their, to get their part is left for them. You know? so, and they must convince the hirer. Who is the hirer? The Atiku. Who is spending the money? Atiku. Lawyer needs money. That is their business. That is their shop. <laughs> you know? That is their limited liability. Where they're making money from. You hire me, I must prove that I'm doing the job for you. So how I go about it is none of your business. And that is exactly that has been established. Okay, now, uh, the CSU in uh, an affidavit uh, presented to the court in Chicago said, Chicago State University provided a diploma to Bolak Tunumbo and subsequently provided a certified copy of that diploma. Both are valid and authentic diplomas of the Chicago State University. Now, he said there are certain differences between the diploma and the certified copy because all diplomas are signed by the current president board chairman. And of course, uh, there are also differences in the font and seal of the diploma because the university updated its seal and font after the diploma was issued. Now, the difference in the date of award in the diploma versus the certified copies likely the result of human error. Of course, um, they were trying to make that clear. And the graduation date on the certified copy is typed in manually by a person, uh, which of course can be accurate or inaccurate. Now, but the bottom line for the Atiku camp, he held a press conference recently, and he said, with what they have, they can approach the Supreme Court and they will win this case. Do you see Atiku winning this case? Thank God that I'm not a lawyer. I'm a criminologist. If I'm a lawyer, I will go to Atiku that, Atiku, please hire me, you will win this case. Because that is the way I make my money from. But in this case, I'm not a lawyer. And if I'm a lawyer, I will do everything possible to convince Atiku that you have a good case. You must understand that this is business world. Let us look at it from the, that angle first. That the legal profession is a business profession. It's a business like shadow accountant. It's a business like a roadside mechanic. So they are also every day looking for clients in order for them to make money. Atiku is one of their clients. And they are, they are bound to make profit. They can, you don't expect the lawyer to just sit down in the chamber doing nothing. He will pay the salary of his workers. He will fuel his car. He will, he will take care of the medical facility for himself. So he needs money. That is one. Then, going by exactly what you have said, the analysis given by the 
university by the school in the US. Now, who determined the date of my birth? My father. My father, in the course of that, there is something called uh, slip of tongue. You know? There are some certain documents that even myself talking, I've made an error. This morning I've made an error. Why writing something? I, saw, I wanted to write six. I wrote 26. That is my error. So no, every woman is bound to make that mistake. You know, after, after the mistake, then if I am the authentic person that actually did that, then I will say, yes, I'm sorry. I made the error. Except if another person that is not legally justified is not the one talking. But the school have said, come. Bola Ahmed Tinubu was of a student. In this school, we don't keep record of diplomas. You know? But this man, we issued him the certificate. We gave him the certificate. They do not deny that. So I am telling you, I think we're going to Supreme Court. You see, Supreme Court is not the jamboree. You can't cajole Supreme Court. You can't blackmail the judiciary. Supreme Court based their judgment on facts and figure. And that is why they are men and women of experience that are judicially sound, legally sound, and they base their judgment on many things. They don't want crisis in Nigeria. They don't want war in Nigeria. So, and that is why the Supreme Court indirectly amend the Constitution. Their judgment is an amendment to the Constitution. And whatever they say is, is final. With all the evidence that I've seen, with all the documents that, that have come from that school, please, I don't see Atiku having any case in the Supreme Court. We have heard Atiku call on Peter Obi to join him uh, in this struggle. Uh, the report we heard is that... Uh, <laughs> Obi said he's not interested. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you make of that? Obi is an intelligent person. Forget about politics. Before somebody can become a banker, Obi is an intelligent man. He knows what figures means. You know, Atiku is purely a businessman. Let's go back to the record of Atiku. He contested the election as a governor. He did not perform as a governor, but Baba job brought him as vice president to him. Have you come across any situation where they address him as senator? or a member of the National Assembly. The only acquired skill, experience, that Atuku Abubaka has is on the limitation of the boss, of the leader of the custom, and then a business tycoon. But when you are talking about governors, you are talking about when you are, I, I think Nigerian Constitution should be amended. That before you become a president of this country, it's either you are a member, you are a former member of National Assembly, either House of Rep, Either look at government chairman, either a senator, either a governor, because already you have seen it. You know what you are going there to do. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we've been speaking with Reverend Dr. Joseph Enidero on the presidency in focus on TV Nigeria. The program will be right back after this time out. And of course, we're looking at the current um, very controversial, uh, but clear, Controversy. We we'll call it controversial and clear controversy with regards to uh, the true certification of President Bolak Maitunumbo by the Chicago State University. We'll be right back. Okay, you're welcome back. We're still talking to Reverend Dr. Joseph Enyidero on the program. Now, we were opportune to also read the comments of um, Barrister Wahab Shitu, who is also a senior advocate of Nigeria. Shitu said, Atiku's hope has been dashed by the CSU release records. He said, based on three arguments, the quest first question is, is President Tunumbu qualified to run by constitutional provisions? Yes. He said yes. Yes. A second question is, did he forge a Chicago State University certificate? Capital, no. His answer was no. Capital, no. And the third question he asked, did he attend the university? 
Capital, and the yes. answer is Capital, yes. Capital, yes. What do you think is Atiku's mission? Because uh, he, he said recently that uh, he doesn't have anything to lose. After all, uh, former President Buhari has crippled his business empire. So is it a personal vendetta or I, is it love for the country? Um, let, me, let me call it this way. I'm a Yoruba man. Odua. You know? I, I, have, I, 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 I am a Yoruba man before becoming a, a Nigerian. And in, in, in Yoruba, we have Kakake Kuma Jewa, Avishawadano. He said for rat not to eat the beans, he will scatter the beans. That is the mission. If I can't get this, let all of us lose. Let that be problem. That is just the game. Because with all the evidences before him, he has worked so hard to build a name for himself in this country. At this point in time, let him keep that integrity intact. He must not do anything to destroy that value, that integrity, that name that he has taken pain for him to build for years. Because with the way he's going about this thing, it's not becoming either Bendata. Are you not aware that he left PDP to Tinubu's camp? Tinubu assisted him, phoned him, to contest for presidency. First time, second time, you mean that there's no more conscience? If there's no conscience, why can't you, why can't you allow your faith to prevail? A man that supported you, a man that did his best when PDP said no to you, he was with you. Not first time, not second time. During the last election between the former President Buhari and Jonathan, Look, go and watch the statement. Atiku Bonle was campaigning seriously for Buhari. Say, the man that is going to kick out Jonathan from office is this man. Don't come to me because you know more about me and you want to use it against me. Atiku is one of the best friends of Bala Metunubu. A man that Tinubu confined in a lot. They behave like brothers. You know? And when it comes to this type of situation, you will now look at the past. When everybody was against me, Bala Medu was there with me. Why can't him because of that? Come, you want to destroy the reputation of Tinubu? God will not allow him. Reverend Dr. Eyidoro, what do you make of that press conference? Uh, because he held an international press conference uh, where it was obvious that uh, some level of uh, impression was made on the minds of Nigerians. Uh, what do you make of that press conference? Was he, was he called for? There are negative thinking and there are positive thinking. Negative thinking can only be suppressed with the power of intelligent positive thinking. You see, yes, that is his thinking. That is his method. Until there is supremacy in that system, then it is then we now come back and say, oh, you are right. Atiku, if I happen to be one of the advisors to him, do you know what I will tell him? I just say, in order for you to maintain your integrity, your value, I just say, that press conference will have been fellow Nigerian. You know, myself and Bola Ahmed Tinubu, we are friends. And at this point in time, with the resort from that university, Chicago University, I think I anchor, I concur. You know, let Atiku behave like our former president, good luck, Jonathan. He must not give us the impression, ah, is this what about Baso Joe? Oh, is this the thing? Is this why Baba Joe do not allow him to take over from him? There were, there were very damaging comments from uh, President, former President of Basenjo about uh, Tiku. Uh, of course, that brings me to the uh, question Does he have the moral, does he have the moral capacity? We are talking about right. moral, morality. I think uh, our National Assembly are here to do the needful. You see, the, con the Constitution says, as at, December, as at uh, October 1st, 1960, anybody born in Nigeria is a citizen. You know? Then we need to look into that. As at that 1960, was Atiku born in Nigeria? As at 1960. You know, we have the Cameroon. 
We have a territory that belongs to the Cameroon. Bakashi and other residents that belong to the Cameroon. As at that 1960, our vice president, Atiku, was he a lawful citizen of Nigeria? Because there are three ways of becoming a citizen, either by birth or by declaration. I am of the view that that particular territory where it was given birth to was not yet Nigerian as at that time. And let our National Assembly go into all this. You have given power to INEC to conduct election. INEC to verify whatever document you are submitting. INEC should be the principal witness in any election case in the court. I am telling you under moral attitude, morality under moral attitude. I want that area to be looked into. If truly I am a Nigerian, I will be praying for the peace of this nation. I have no other nation to claim. My father, my late father, my generation, they are all Nigerian. I am not a Nigerian by declaration. I am a Nigerian by birth, by everything. I have no other country to claim. I can't claim Cameroon. I have no family in Cameroon. There is no hinderer in Cameroon. All the hinderers are in Nigeria here. So where am I going to claim? Am I going to be a Togo? Am I a Togolish? Am I from Niger? Where am I from? My mother, my father, all of us, we are here. Reverend Dr. Eidero, looking at this matter, if you look at um, the social media, it has been a gog with so much comments, views, uh, to a, a large extent, more like campaign of calumny and all in the bead to try to project the president in bad light. Whether you like it or not, there are strong messages out there that are powerful and very influential. What would you advise the presidency to do in this regard, to, to try to, you know, change the orientation or try to mend the mindset of Nigerians? At this point in time, let me be frank and sincere to herself. President Bola Amen Tinubu need an image maker, a vocal image maker, a marketer that market his product, that will let the public know these are and these are not. For now, they are not there. Again, we need to look into the liberty of this media, most especially this Facebook and address. When you look at it, majority of them are just, they will just give fake, fake, fake news, fake information that has no base. Why? They are making money. Before you know, about 1,000 people have, have entered that. And they made their money. Followers, followers, uh, yes. subscribers. They say share this video. Share this video. Yeah, share now, share now, share now, share, share now, share now, share now. They know that they have no point. They know all the news they are making is fake. I will give you an example. Don't it be, uh, don't it be uh, our former president? There was something they posted on Facebook. Uh, a military man that shot a woman, a pregnant woman, and a child dead in one, in one Sahara desert. You know, they were saying it happened in Meduguri, it happened in Nigeria. But for those of us that know, it happened in Cameroon. Not in Nigeria. Not in Nigeria at all. And before you know, they've used it to, to, to wake Nigeria up against the government. Majority of those things you are seeing on Facebook are not, they are fake. They are fake news. They are only posting them to make money. And that is why we want our National Assembly to make a law. There is no total freedom. Is this why Russia has deliberately controlled its social media platforms? Because they want peace. Without peace, your nation cannot grow. One fake news can throw Nigeria in serious problem. Just one. We, on my own side there, the clergy now, we need to be seriously talked to. Look at the election period. A lot of, on the media, a prophecy. Yes, Tinubu is sick. Tinubu is mentally deranged. Oh, Tinubu, come. I've seen the president. I am telling you, and you are quoting the Bible for God's sake. And your members are sharing you up. And at the end of the day, I, I still wonder to see some of those members still following those pastors. 
You see, when you are talking about Bible, biblical nature, the Bible says some are called, some call themselves, some are chosen. You know? And that is why I come, when you look at it, when you look, there's a lot of things. Our evidence acting to be amended. One, the evidence, evidence and it to be amended. You know? Two, no total freedom. Some level of control. Some that should be some level of control. Okay. Three, I am also using your media. TV Nigeria. I'm also using your media now to pass this message across to Mr. President and his cabinet. No total freedom. What about the presidency's media team? What's your advice to them? We need somebody in that office that is vocal, bold, bold to stand. I used to tell people, I said, the crown of a king is not for the coward. Dr. Oyedero, thank you very much for uh, talking with us. Well, uh, in case you're just tuning in, this is the President's in Focus. We're taking a look at the current uh, legal battle between uh, the former Vice President of the PDP, uh, Bubakar Tiko, against President Balak Metunumbu of the APC over the Chicago certification, uh, <laughs> which has become an international topic. We'll be right back after this break. Okay, Dr. Idero, as a country, there is a statement in uh, business of advertising. Image is everything. And um, to a large extent, the image of Nigeria seemed to have been uh, merged in, uh, I would call it, uh, so much controversy and death by this whole confusion. What do you think we can do as a country? Because perception is also key. Uh, the way the opposition party is going, not necessarily trying to pull down the president, but even the name Nigeria, directly or indirectly, is being you know, affected. And so as a country, what do you think is the mindset of the international community? Do you think, uh, even when it has been ascertained that, yes, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu attended Chicago University, do you think the international community is buying into all those uh, controversy? I will come in this way. We have Minister for Information. We have Minister for Communication. What are their responsibility? The question you have just asked me now fall within the concept of the idea of Provio. Minister for Communication. Then again, when you are going back again, there is another one of us again who is in charge of the Asapra, which is Abika uh, Dabri, you know. It's their responsibility. They have a lot to do. They have a lot to do. In, in most cases, we need to define something, please. Why is it that teachers are not the best in practical, but they are the best in theory? You will agree with me that all that you study while in the school and when you came back to the practical side of it, you know, that was modification. Why? Teachers were in the school. They were not busy making money. You graduated, you established your company, you are now going out to do what? To make money. That makes you, your experience, different. Differ from that of the teacher. Please, yes, if Mr. President is able to get a man that has diploma, a man that has a track record. A two-time governor. He was once a senator. That, 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 that is good in promoting the image of Nigeria. Give it to him. Do you need to create an agency for that? You can create it. The responsibility I'm giving to your agency is to do what? Come. Anywhere Nigerian name is being damaged, oh yeah? Go into action. Go into history. You, you, are, you see, a lot of the people outside the country are not even aware about our mineral resources. They are not even aware what we have in Kano, what we have in Shokoto, what we have in Kaduna that we can even use to make money, that we can invite industrialists. They are not aware. 
All, what, all that we are busy doing is that we are busy sitting on the air conditioner. there. What is the job of a mechanical engineer sitting down in the office? Is that office a mechanic workshop? No. We need to change. Uh, somebody is a PhD in a Greek. And in a year, it's not been to farm. Reverend Dr. Ine, thank you very much for coming on the Presidency in Focus on TV Nigeria. We quite appreciate your presence. Uh, if you recall, the President's speech at the United Nations, UNGA, recently, uh, was applauded even by some of the opposition groups, personalities. This is the first time the 16th president of this country addressing the international powers and telling them the truth to their face that allow Africa, allow Nigeria to breathe because we have all it takes. Let, let there be some level of partnership and of course, uh, in that speech, the president exposed uh, a lot of, um, you know, shenanigans or hidden agenda of the superpowers, all in the bid to keep Africa down. So, looking at a president with that kind of very high-powered intellectual uh, experience and exposure, uh, what's your final word? For the president, despite all these whole challenges, what would you advise the president to do uh, moving forward? Uh, when you are hungry and you go to a Mala joint, you will not be asking, is he prepared by a neighbor man? Or is he prepared by a Yoruba man? Is he prepared by an Asa man? The taste of the soup will continue to bring you to that level. Nigerians should please begin to value what they have. Immediately after the election, throw away politicking. Let the love of your country be paramount in your life. The love of our country is not paramount in our life. An American is ready to die because of that American flag. An Italian man wants to die because of that flag. A Nigerian man will carry the flag and use it for toileting. That is to let you realize the value and this tribal sentiment, let us remove it entirely. So, Dr. Idero, looking at the whole bashing of the president, criticism, name calling, at this level, what, do, what will you tell the president to do? Moving forward, he should forget whatever it is uh, just to deliver. You know, we, <laughs> we as comrades, yes. we are the comrades, we said, for whatever, back whatever. So that is our slang. I use one word. I said, the crown of a king is not for the coward, though. It's for the warrior. And when you are in the war front, you don't look back until the world is conquered. Please, uh, my dear brother, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, our lovely president, go ahead with your action. The whole nation is with you. We are with you. We will support you. We will back you up. No sentiment. You are Jagaban. Go ahead. God loves you, and that's why God has put you there. No shaking. We know you are not afraid. You said, don't be afraid of pestilence by night or terror by moonlight. Say, God is your is with you. Lead us to the promised land. God has chosen you. Go back to your background. See how God see how God you, you started it. No father, no mother, and at the end of the day, you succeeded. And God has put you there. Come, we are with you. The whole Lord Dua are with you. The Indigo are with you. The Jaw are with you. The Alsace are with you. The Fulanese are with you. We are behind you. The Legaminary, those intelligent lawyers are all with you. Drive, go on. God bless you, my dear. We want to thank you very much uh, for coming on the Presidency in Focus on TV Nigeria, Reverend Dr. Joseph Eindero. We appreciate your in-depth analysis and comments so far. Thank you. Well, after that in-depth analysis, an X-ray of the issue on ground, whichever way the pendulum swings in the current legal battle, the presidency strongly believes that it's a lost battle for the opposition. For full viewing of our programs on TV Nigeria, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, 
TV Nigeria 808, as well as our website www.tvnigeria.ng. You can also follow us on other social media platforms Facebook, Twitter, TV Nigeria, and our Instagram page, TV Nigeria One. Join us again next week for another interesting package of the Presidency in Focus on TV Nigeria. Thanks for watching.